Today we will discuss about a standard way to identify addition power for presbyopic patient. So let's start. What is more important to identify accurate addition power in a presbyopic patient? Is it age or amplitude of accommodation? The answer is amplitude of accommodation. To identify accurate addition power for presbyopic patient, we don't need to know about the patient age. Is it surprising? Let's see how. If a person wants to read at 40 cm, then we can give 2.5 diopter to read comfortably. Because a plus 2.5 diopter lens has its focal point at 40 cm. This is only acceptable when patient's amplitude of accommodation is zero. But some amount of amplitude of accommodation is still there at 40 years or even in older patients. So 2.5 diopter for 40 cm won't be ideal addition power because patient still have some amount of amplitude of accommodation. Now the question is how do we will identify accurate addition power for presbyopic patient. Let's see in next slide. Standard method to prescribe presbyopic power. Step 1. Distance correction should be given first. Step 2. Measure amplitude of accommodation. Step 3. Keep half of amplitude of accommodation in reserve and give half of amplitude of accommodation as presbyopic power. Let's take the same example. What will be the accurate addition power for a patient who wants to read at 40 cm? Step 1. Distance correction. To keep our video short, let's consider there is no distance power for this patient. Step 2. Measure amplitude of accommodation. To identify amplitude of accommodation, first we will identify near point of accommodation with ref ruler. Then we will identify amplitude of accommodation by using the formula 100 divided by near point of accommodation in centimeter. We can easily identify near point of accommodation with ref ruler or even a normal centimeter scale. Patient is asked to wear his distance correction and to focus on one line better than his visual equity. Suppose if the visual equity is 66, then ask to focus on the 69 size letter or line. Now sliding the target towards the patient's eye until the closest point is found at which it is still can be seen clearly. Closer to this point, object will be blur. Suppose closest point at which object is still seen clearly is 50 cm, which is our near point of accommodation. So according to our formula, amplitude of accommodation will be 100 divided by 50 or plus 2 diopter. Now let's move to step 3 in the next slide. Step 3. Keep half of amplitude of accommodation in reserve and half as presbyopic power. As we have to keep half of amplitude of accommodation one diopter in reserve and half of amplitude of accommodation in working, so final prescription will be required diopters at 40 cm is 2.5 diopter. Working accommodation is 1 diopter. So, power need as addition is 1.5 diopter. One question maybe comes to your mind. If patient's amplitude of accommodation is 2 diopter and patient needs 2.5 diopter to read at 40 cm, why do we not give just 0.5 diopter? Amplitude of accommodation is the maximum attempt of patient and in older age, patient can't able to maintain this for long time. So we can't use full amplitude of accommodation and even can't keep whole amplitude of accommodation at rest. In both case, patient will develop asthenopic symptoms. That's why we keep half of amplitude of accommodation at rest and half in work. I hope this was helpful. Stay with Smart Optometry and study optometry smartly.